Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sandy and welcome to my channel. And today I'm proud to tell you guys that I'm I think I'm gonna start Final Fantasy V 14 online. It's the online one. So I haven't played it. I did a bit of research. Turns out it's a massive online multiplayer game. Tons of people, millions of subscribers. Ah, uh, hi, A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. Yours. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumald amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamud, was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. Bahamut. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives Whoa. in the Museum, one whose tale is yet unwritten. Oh wow. Ah, oh, this looks so awesome. Oh, this music. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Guys, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Before your adventure begins, you must first create a character. All right. Let's see what my badass bad boy is gonna look like, or girl, maybe. You don't know yet. I'm not biased. I'm not sexist. So, race and gender. From what I've read, um, race affects your stats, but not by all that much. That's cool. So, I've, from what I've read, you should just basically pick something that you like the most. And outfits right now are standard but you get when you get when you start to get equipments and stuff you uh, you can get clothes and 
you know, change your look. So really, it doesn't doesn't matter all that much. So I'll just pick what I think is the most cooler. But I will read a bit about them. You know, just kind of get a sense of who they are. Pyre are said to have first traveled to Eurasia from the surrounding continents and islands. Three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all civilized. Uh, I don't want them all the most populous. Elizen, nah, too tall. Lala fell, too short and cute. These guys look pretty cool. The ancestors of the Miko Tim made their way to Eurasia during the Age of Endless Frost, traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they persisted. Adaptation to a hunting lifestyle has fashioned them with a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail which provides them with exceptional balance. Mikote are known to be very territorial and many individuals tend to lead solitary lifestyles, particularly males. Yeah, I think this kind of suits my style. This guy is too buff. What? These are locked? Oh, nice. Looking good. Alright, so we call uh Oh. Now this is hot. Really? <laughs> Whoops. I'll just pick them out. Why are you dancing? No 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 no, don't dance. I'm not into dancing. Alright, so I think I'll um I'll choose this. Oh wow. Keepers of the moon, seekers of the sun. Characters clan. Oh this does look cool. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, still alive version. And not looking like almost dead. Okay. Uh, I think I'll... Are you kidding me? I am taller than this. Can I not pick my height? I'll oh, just leave it a cool 77 inches, I guess. That's fine. Good tail shape. Are you serious? Let's go with the fluffy. Hairstyle. Sweet! So this has... The Sasuke style like haircut. I don't... Really want that, I guess. They have something... Not bad. Ah, uh, this is so Noctis. Oh yeah. Full Elvis. Are these it? They're not few, but... I don't really know what to choose. This makes me look like a girl. Want that? This looks kind of good. That's good. I'll keep this face. Yep. Jaw. Whatever. Eyes shape. You can have cat eyes. 
I have cat eyes. Iris eyes. We can manage much here. Eye color. Oh, like this. Yep. Nose, mouth, lip color. Uh, facial features. Tattoos or scars. Tattoos. The color. Face paint. Face paint color. Voice. Uh, hair color. I missed on hair color. Like this. Do like the more dark hair version. And we gonna have some blue in there because it looks cool. This looks pretty cool to be honest. I like it. Voice. Do I have... So I think we are done with appearance. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, first astral moon, whatever that is. First umbral moon, I'm gonna say two, three, four, five, six. 11, 12. So it's 12, okay? So my birthday is in August. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fourth Umbral Moon. 16. Alright. Mm -hmm. Patron Deity. Oh. Lem Land. You gotta read through all of these. <laughs> uh, ruler of rivers and wisdom. List of bodies and goddess of fate. The ruler of the mountains and god of travelers and vagrants. Architecture and industry, breaker of worlds, the god of destruction, and guardian deity of now fallen nation of Alami. Eight moon of yours in calendar. <clears throat> Son and goddess of inquiry. Overseer of the underworld and god of commerce. Tender of souls and harvests and goddess of abundance. Age and space and god of time. Fourth moon. Fourth moon. <laughs> well, I did select my birthday to be fourth moon, so might as well just pick something that's in the fourth moon. And this is actually a bit my something that I would also pick because it's a watcher of 
celestial bodies and goddess of faith. I mean, I kind of do have a little passion for astronomy and stuff like that, so... Uh, yeah, I'll pick this one. Mm -hmm. Alright, picking a class. So, class is... What you do in fights. So I want to be a tank because I feel that's more my style, like getting in in your face and just going crazy. From what I read, the tanks are marauders and gladiators. Gladiators, I think. One of brute force relying on strength and steel to crush enemies and sunder weapons. But I like the idea of gladiator more. The handling of all manner of one handed blades from daggers to long swords. A single or double edge, straight or curved, yeah. Gladiator! Mm hmm. Uh, Leech, Europe, sure. First and last name of a character. What comes first and what comes second? Four name is before, surname is after, I think. So I'm. Uh, hope this is right. Uh, wait a second. Right, so I got it right. Think, I think we're good. Sorry, I just had to check up with. <laughs> actually, comes first is the forename or the surname because some countries have it the other way around. I wanted to be sure because I actually made that mistake with when I played Evil Online. I wanted to have the same nickname, the Tricky, but actually ended up having Tricky Da. So. Uh, Begin a new game with this character. Yes, Jim GD do. What? Are you for real? The world, this world is currently full. Uh. Play in a different world?
Okay, so why do I have to just play on Leech? We can not play on another world if this world is full. What the hell? If I select another world, my character disappears. Apparently. Connection, excellent. Oh, ay, 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 ay. All right, so I left Q. What now? Let's hope this time it loads me in the game. Alright, I think we're good. good with that big ass sword of the fears for a while there. Feeling the effects of the ether, I reckon. Get used to it though, don't worry. Chocobos! Ominous. Uh, 
business as usual. Yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. Seeking fortune and glory, that's what I call living. to get annoying. Ooh. Oh, can you stop talking so much? Fanalan, folk turn sand into gold. Sure. Deep in the sun baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Ulda. Even with the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era, hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. Okay. Could have been better, but... Okay, I guess. Can I control my character now? Looks a bit like Rabbit Astor. 
Gimon has the music similar. I'm not more talking. Finally! Shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Tanaland. Control screen you wish to use. Mouse and keyboard. Yep, yep. Um, turn character. Move camera. Okay. Nope. Oh, for the love of God, I was just want to try and explore a bit. To head over to Quicksand and speak with Momodi, he's a master of adventures guild and can set you on the right path. Alright, so what the ones you'll find are inside. can be displayed at once. Nice. I need to talk to Momodi. Amalja.
Oh, hello. Okay. Promise is a promise. Mr. Tricky. Of course you do. You like poorly stories. Okay, I don't know what any of these are. But I'm assuming I will learn. That's cool. Guilt over that Colosseum. Stop talking so much and just let me go already, God! I don't mind talking, I don't mind sharing information, but sometimes, man, just shut up already. Tell me what I gotta do and let me go do it. Ok 
Sache. Novice Network. What will I do? it now Christian moon right of your experience bar where uh -huh. oh sanctuary what well, especially you will accrue arrested bonus these bonus will need to go even if you're offline all experience earned from battlecraft and gathering are under the benefit of the rest of the bonus. The current rest of the bonus is played on top of your experience bar. Okay. Main grants going to use access for most of the main features. Okay. 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 So, what I gotta do is get the hell out of here. Steps of tall. Where we do more talking. Well, to be honest, right now, it seems okay. I mean, the graphics are nice. Uh, gameplay, I have no idea yet. I'm still discovering the game, but it looks pretty cool so far. I mean, could do with less talking, but I guess it's a tutorial, so I couldn't have expected anything else. Sure a lot, sure a lot of stuff in the UI though. I'm not really sure what everything is, but... Yes, I'm Cicero. What can I do for you? Man could ever desire can be purchased here. 
into a little sword, perhaps a shiny trinket. And the armor and accessories, creative crafting materials. Oh, this really looks like Rabanaster for some reason. We'll find weapons, tools, and assortment of other useful items for sale. Alright. Well, I have a bit of money, but I doubt I can actually buy anything. Yeah, I just did that. Well, we shall see. So, what's this guy? Okay. I can't buy. I can. Oh wow! This is food. I don't need food. Part of carry. Great craft. Market board. Independent jeweler. Battlecraft armor. Yeah, I have no idea what all of this means. I have 103 gold for some reason. Um, and pen tunic. <laughs> yeah, all of these. Can I sell my stuff, maybe? Yeah, I'm not gonna buy anything. I have no idea what to get. Allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand. It is recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. Okay. It's automatically stored in this chest, leaving your inventory free to fill with other items such as potions, crafting materials, and food. Gear and army chest are and sorted by type. This can be accessed at any time by selecting character from the main menu, followed by armory chest or pressing Ctrl I. Character. Action and tray stand. Oh! Draw your weapon, why don't you? Okay. I'm assuming that if you fit something, automatically changes your look. I got these are my stats. I don't know if they're good or bad. I'm a gladiator. And you can actually see the ring on my finger. That's pretty cool. There. Whoop. Nice. Whoops. 
I think that's what I got from that dude back on the chariot. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Oh, that's so good. What the hell? I so. I gotta go all the way back there. Okay, the game is starting to become fun. I'll be honest. I can't wait to see and try the combat. Can't wait to fight some monsters to see how to see how I do. The music is pretty good too. Definitely adventure type ish music. Oh look at this guy run. <laughs> Ah, uh, Wyman, again. It's right here. Okay, so we're close. We're close. Can do this. Jajakuta. So where is this Josiah? Oh. Gotta go through here. So I got experience points, fire shard, and potions. Come on, Guildmaster. Oh, okay. Nice. This is pretty cool. Altered five boots. Altered leather five. Nice. A little bit of work, perhaps. Some small jobs to add a little weight to that come coin perseverance. Gotta bring him stuff. Okay, if I am here, if I'm here, might as well finish this, which is right here.
Blue, what you want? You wanna be cuddled, huh? Is now the right time? Seriously? Yeah, like you care. But just stop putting your tail in my face? Ah, life with cats. So, who do I have to talk to here? Oh, tuning, what is this? You've attuned to the Aetherites, and that means what exactly? Oh, <laughs> these guys are so small and cute. Ethereal energies are apparently used as meant to travel swiftly from one place to another. Return and teleport. Oh, okay. So this is basically like the train station. <laughs> I pray you found the inf should you wish to learn more about Aetherites and transport magic, I should be happy to answer your question. Return learned. Why thank you. So when I'm out in the field, I assume... Uh, the spell return can be used to instantly travel back to Aetherites set as your home board. Casting the spell does not require any MP, which is good. Can be accessed by selecting return of the travel from the main menu. The sole limitation of the spell is that it can only be cast once every 15 minutes, Earth time. Of course. Only one home point may be set at any time to make the effort right turn to home. Right click on the crystal spring. Uh, yeah. Another world server. Ethernet. Ah, oh, that's that's cool, right? Wow, so many things happening all at once. Oh, damn it. Man, my cats are dropping hairs. Oh, my hand is full of cat hair. Alright, so we did this. Uh, let's see. But actually, I have to. Actually, I have to go out for this. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Okay, no worries. I have to go there and more or less same direction I assume but it's cool let's do this first This city is actually pretty cool. Alright, so I gotta threaten this little girl. And just like that, I'm level 2. Use Grand Various Fixes, Instant HP, Restraint, Yeah, potions, I know, I know. Cannot be used again until the timer has expired. Uh, item you use often can be set to your hotbar for easy access. And my hotbar is here. Whoa, I got 10 rolls? You gotta be kidding me. 
That's how many things you can have in here. This is insane. I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I've never actually played a game like this. I mean, this is similar to what I saw. It's like for Diablo or games like that. I'm, I have really have no experience with games like this where you have a shit ton of spells and items to use. So this is really the first for me and I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed even though I only have two skills right now. But, um... I don't know, I guess we'll see. So I did this. Can I go through here? No, I don't... I don't think so. No, it's a dead end. Gotta go back. So this is, this has started to become a bit, it's cool, I like it, so far I really like it. So am I supposed to actually take your money back to him for you? Show it to Mamane over at the Oshori and you'll g g get your coin. Oh, this guy is also new, I think. Yep, he's also new. Nice, hello. He's doing the same quest as me. Oh, it's back here. Can I not run faster? This is a uh, huh? yeah, very well. Most person I said address. Uh, question is a fake. It's such a godly problem. Uh, so why can I not complete it then? This is... Take the ring to the appraisal. Okay, I just did that. Why can I not complete it? I do have 200 gil. Look. Cannot complete it. Starting to get too many quests, side quests. Well, let me just. Let me just go visit the Gladiators Guild because I think I need some combat lessons, which I assume that's what I'm gonna do there. After that, I'll feel more more comfortable doing the rest of the side quests. Right, so I am here. Okay, Genevieve.
encounter objects which will then right clicking. Okay. the person to talk to. I think this is it. Yeah. I gotta go back to Momodi. Let's just go outside and um, slay some monsters, see how that goes. It's already been a, an hour. Uh, let's, oh, it's raining! Okay, so straight ahead. Uh, it's raining! It's pretty cool. Click on the target to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach and face the target to start a battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by clicking on the item. Okay, help on button. Okay. To be initiated, use the shortcut keys indicated up. Okay. Okay. An old Gridania, okay. Cool. So we can already start to fight. Wow, so many monsters. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. I got 102 experience for killing that guy. Okay. Bounty, like no longer. 
Most items can be sold in trade freely before they are used in battle crafting. Yeah, this is true regardless of whether or not they have been equipped. One of these three actions will bind item to produce future trade or sell to other players. Alright. So I gotta slay ladybugs. Combat is a bit boring <laughs> for now, I guess. Level 12 giant tortoise, yeah, that will be um, something. Alright, so I got all five of them. Oh, it's on the other, on the other, all the way on the other side. <laughs> okay, so we had our first fight, which was interesting. I was expecting a bit something else, I guess, but it's not bad. I mean, it's okay. Already got to level 3, I don't know how to use my potions. There you go. That's the same thing, right? Alright, so, um, yeah, so I got 308 gil, Coliseum. Can I not complete? Why? 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 Why can I not complete it? Uh, I don't know, just I'll do some search on the net or something. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is gonna be the end of the first episode. It's already been an hour and 15 minutes. 
I'll definitely do some more side quests and get more familiar with the game and I'll be back with a new one as soon as I get more gameplay done and uh, learn the game a bit more. Alright, thanks, see ya.